So hi everyone, this is Pranjal and if you are starting your gate preparation now and you want to cover the koa and you have no idea how to do that, so I am here to help you. So I have made a complete plan how to you can master koa in just 15 days. You can see here I have made a complete PDF. You can get those on my Telegram channel. So I I have told when to switch to another lecture, how much you have to watch, even the timestamps. So let's get to the PDF and you will get all the things. So hi everyone, so here is the PDF and I am going to explain you everything in detail. So let's get started. So if we talk about the COA, then the whole syllabus is divided into five major parts. The first is the machine instruction and addressing mode. The second is the ALU and control unit. The third is the pipelining, then memory hierarchy and then the IO interrupt and interface that stuff. So out of these five topics, the most important topic is these one, the pipelining, memory hierarchy and the machine instruction. These three topics can alone fetch you around five to six marks. Okay. And the remaining topic like ALU control unit and the interrupt that uh, is around two marks. So let's get started how you have to do this. So there are two approaches for this. The first approach is that you can follow this playlist. This playlist is like have around seven to eight videos and it will uh, take around 28 hours. The pros of this playlist is that it is the fastest way to cover the koa and the this playlist is based on the practice approach means you don't have much theory in this but you have a lot of questions to solve so if you want to solve a lot of questions in koa and have a great foundation this playlist is for you but it has uh, some cons and that that cons are like these lectures don't have a lot of theory in it so if there is a theory question, uh, you can get stuck on that. And uh, the second thing is that many topics covered in this playlist are just for the sake of completion. They don't have the exact depth required if the question gets hard. So that is the pros and cons. But if you have very limited, ti uh, limited time, then you can do this thing. Okay. And the second approach, which I would like highly recommend and which I followed was this. So let's get started and see what that approach is. That is the hybrid approach. You have to use this playlist along with one more playlist, which Vishwadeep sir has done. So let's see that. So if you want to cover the machine instruction and addressing mode, which uh, comes around two to three marks, you can follow this thing you have the playlist the same playlist which Vijay sir has made and here you have three uh, videos the first video the second video and the third video so you have to watch the first video completely and for the second video you have to watch only till two hours and ten minutes you can see here and then you have to watch the third video and in the third video, you have to watch till one hour and 30 minutes only. I am like mentioning exact timestamp so that you don't have to like, uh, your time can be saved. So that is the thing. After covering these three lectures, you would be able to, uh, solve these questions. Like if the question comes from the topic of number of instruction possible, op code, immediate field size, these kinds of questions. And also if the question comes like you have a RAM given or a memory given, and then there are some instructions and you have to uh, get the content of some address after the instructions are over. So that is another kind of question, which is asked very frequently. So after doing these three video, uh, three lectures, you would be able to solve these two kinds of problem. So now, uh, if you see here, we have covered these kinds of problem and these kinds of problem. So we are uh, now 
remaining with three more type of problem in this topic that is the expanded opcode technique floating point ie e 754 and the number of spill uh, registers required to avoid spill so this topic is uh, can be skipped for now because it is also present in cd also present in cd okay you can skip this so we just need to get some resource for expanded opcode technique and floating point ie triple e754 so for that let's come uh, down and for expanded opcode technique you can uh, find uh, a playlist which i have shared and it is an academy's playlist and vishwadeep sir has uh, taken these lectures so you can go on to that playlist and you can find this lecture number seven here and you have to watch it completely and after seeing that video you will be able to solve any question based on the expanded opcode technique it is like uh, very important because one question is fixed like it is fixed permanently <laughs> it has a video seat in the gate paper so that is the thing and for the floating point number representation this topic was like not coming in uh, recent times but from last one to two years we are say, uh, seeing one to two questions in each set so it is also important so you have to do question, uh, lecture number two and lecture number three of this playlist and you will be able to solve the floating point questions and also i have a beautiful notes because i have studied from the same resource so you can use my notes and uh, you can like refer to those notes for floating point presentation and it is around three to four pages just revise it watch this lecture and you will be able to solve the things and now the most one of the most or you can say most important topic of the whole computer organization architecture is pipelining it, it also has a permanent seat like every time you will see one to two question in every shift so it can fetch you around two to three marks two to three marks so if you are like following any other lectures pipe learning would take like around nine to ten lectures to complete but you don't have that time and you want the best content so for this i would recommend uh, vijay sir's same playlist and here you can watch lecture number uh, six seven and eight and how you are have to watch it let's see so in lecture number six you have to watch from two hours and 14 minutes because before this there was some other topics so you have to start from two hours 14 minutes and then you have to watch lecture seven completely and then in the lecture eight you have to watch till one hour and nine minutes so this is the thing and after watching these three lectures it is like around if you sum it in four to five hours you have to solve pyq from 2008 to 2025 and you will be shocked to know that you will be able to solve around 50 to 60 percent of the pyq and that is more than than enough for a first time for first if you are solving for the first time so then we have to see the another topics so then we have memory hierarchy so it is also one of the most important topics of the core so here it is a topic where uh, the co-op playlist of Vijay sir is like lagging behind. I won't say like it is uh, he hasn't covered it but due to limited time it was not covered in detail. So for that you have to follow this strategy. Go to the Vishwadeep sir's playlist which we were talking, uh, talking earlier and watch lecture 23 to 41. Each lecture is each lecture is uh, around one hour one hour average so here if you see you will be having around 17 16 16 to 17 lectures and uh, then you have to watch from the lecture 61 to 70 and each lecture here is of 10 minutes so you can like around it will get around 1.5 hours so if you calculate then the memory hierarchy 
uh, will go around 15 to 16 hours because some has some of the lectures are of half an hour 50 minutes so on an average you have to give 15 to 16 hours for this memory hierarchy and this memory hierarchy has a lot of topics like you have cache then you have uh, ram multiple multiple chipset questions then you have uh, associativity mapping etc so it will take a, a lot of time but you can do it because you if you watch it on 2x and solve then it can be done in like three to four days and if you find that i don't have 15 to 16 hours then you can like watch these two lectures of the vijay sir's playlist lecture number four and lecture number five but here uh, it is like you will do a lot of practice questions but if the question come from the theory you might stuck so it is highly recommended if you have time follow this 15 to 16 hour strategy so now let's talk uh, talk about the most repeated concept in memory hierarchy so the most repeated question is finding the size of the tag field uh, this is like uh, how can i uh, like how do i say this is the most repeated type of question you will see in any, any gate paper so this is the first thing and then little bit of change and then you have finding associative of the cache these two questions are like nearly same so if you have idea of first thing you can solve the second then you have some cache related questions which is like finding the miss rate hit rate this kind of question and then this is also one of the important question finding the average memory access time like if you have something in the ram then you have to bring it into cache then you have to access it so how much time it will take so these kinds of questions and then law this write back and write through cache questions these are one of the favorite topics of the paper setter from last two to three years so that's why i mentioned here like in the lecture number 61 to 70 Vishwadeep sir has covered every aspect of these questions like cache uh, write back cache write through cache every kind of, of theory question possible so you have to watch this it is around like 1.5 hours so you can solve any theory question on it so now let's go down and then yeah you have sometimes there is a question of uh, number of compulsory misses conflict misses uh, and this is topic this topic is based on lru so you can see th those questions so it was five to six most repeated type of questions you will be asked from the memory hierarchy now let's go to the last part so before that i want to say that i have skipped the alu and C cu because um, it has very less weightage and second thing it whenever the question comes it it is tricky so it's better to leave that topic and if you want to do you can like watch any lectures so now let's come to the last topic which is io interface so io interface is basically divided into two major parts the first thing is the io interrupt and dma and the second thing is the secondary memory so if you want to cover the io interrupt and dma you have to watch the lectures 18 to 22 of the vishwadeep sir's playlist and it will uh, like take around four hours so if you watch it in 2x you can cover it into one to two days and then you have secondary memory and here you have magnetic disk questions so for this you need to so, uh, watch lecture 42 to 45 of vishwadeep sir's playlist so now let's see what are the questions which are coming in this topic so the first question is like the D dma daisy chaining theory questions so dma is like one of the favorite topics of the coa community because a lot of theory questions can be made on this so the first thing come that that will come is dma chaining theory questions you can find a direct question on it and the second thing 
if a theory uh, a numerical comes it will be asked like this that uh, a question uh, a cpu is there then it has some interrupt so what will uh, what will be the time to process the request and what how many times the cpu will be idle so this kind of question then third is the total time required to access a disk or some data it is of magnetic disk question it is magnetic disk question and the last thing is cylinder number of the last field this is also a magnetic disk question so you will be get, getting a give, given a lot of sequence like 100 to 200 and a lot of sequence and then you have to find that what will be the last cylinder number so you will be getting these thing after watching the lectures so this was all about the coa roadmap and you can complete this entire thing in 12 to 15 days if you are very dedicated so do that and don't watch any uh, like thousands of strategy videos वॉच वन एंड कम्प्लीटेड तो भाई अगर आपको लगता है कि मैं आपका मतलब ऐसे मदद कर पाऊंगा तीन से चार महीने बचे हैं ज़्यादा मतलब आपको कहाँ से क्या करना है कौन सा टॉपिक स्किप कर सकते हो और हर एक सब्जेक्ट में क्या पढ़ना है कहाँ से पढ़ना है कौन सा चीज़ हार्ड है वो सब जानना है और आपको एक तरीके से एक मेंटर चाहिए होगा तीन से चार महीने के लिए तो भाई इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लो अगर आपको सही में लगता है कि मैं मदद कर पाऊँगा तभी करना है ऐसे नहीं और एक टेलीग्राम चैनल मैंने बनाया है वहाँ पे आप ज्वाइन कर लो वहाँ से मैं आप लोग से इनपुट लेता हूँ कि आपको कहाँ दिक्कत आ रही है क्या वीडियो आपको चाहिए हर एक चीज़ ठीक है तो एक सजेशन है कि भाई अब हज़ार वीडियो मत देखो अब एक आप स्ट्रेटजी का देख लियो कैसे क्या करना है उसको फॉलो करो अच्छे से पढ़ो भाई तीन से चार महीने अभी भी आप भाई पैंतालीस से पचास नंबर ला सकते हो तो हार्ड वर्क एंड भाई अच्छे से करो बाय